Good day everyone! Isang mapagpalang araw sa ating lahat at welcome to my math tutorial. For today's tutorial, ang ating topic is about the geometric means and the end term of a geometric sequence. Okay, let's start with the objectives. For the learning objectives, after going through this lesson, you're expected to Determine the geometric means of a geometric sequence and solve for the nth term of a geometric sequence. For our mathematical concept, to solve for the geometric means of a given geometric sequence, the formula for the nth term of a geometric sequence is also used. Ibig sabihin, yung formula na gagamitin natin sa paghahanap ng nth term at ng geometric means ay parehas. In that note, we have this as our general formula in finding the geometric means and also the end term of a given geometric sequence. So we have here the a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1, where n, as you all know, is the number of the terms and a sub 1 is the first term. So, medyo familiar na naman na kayo sa mga variables na ginagamit natin sa sequences. So, let's have an example. For our example number 1, illustrate the geometric means in the geometric sequence for blank. So, we have here tatlo. We have three missing terms here and then followed by 64 as our last term. So, to find the geometric means of the given geometric sequence, we must follow these steps. So, let's start. Okay. So, again, for our problem, illustrate the geometric means in the given geometric sequence. So, for our step 1, find the common ratio using the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Okay, for our solution, okay, so let's start. First is substitute the first term and the last term. So here, in our formula, our first term is 4 and our last term here is 64. So the equation will be uh, in this form, 64. So again, ito yung ating last term. Equal. So, ang ating first term is 4. And then, we have R. So, still unknown to dahil nga yung ating ginahanap, yung common ratio. And then, raised to 5 minus 1. So, sir, saan nanggaling yung 5? So, siya yung naging value ng N. So, paano ba natin nakuha yung 5 as the value of N? So, bibilangin nyo lang lahat ng terms na given including yung missing term. So, as you can see, the first term is 4, the last term is 64, and then we have 3 missing terms here, so we have a total of 5 terms. So, therefore, ang ating n is 5. Or pwede nating sabihin, kasi yung ating 64 in this sequence is pang 5th pang term siya. Okay? So, therefore, ang n natin is 5. Okay? And then, simplify the exponent. So, exponent muna tayo. So, what will happen, our equation will be 64 is equal to 4 times r raised to 4. Kasi we need to get the difference between 5 and 1. That's why the exponent is 4. Okay? Next, apply the multiplicative property of equality. So, bakit ba natin to i-apply sa ating equation? Kasi ang goal natin ay masimplify natin yung coefficient of r. Or simply gawin natin 1 yung value ng coefficient ng r. Kasi nga ang ating goal is makuha yung common ratio. In this case, we have 4 r raised to 4. So, what we're going to do, we're going to multiply the equation, okay, both sides of the equation, by the, using the multiplicative property of equality. So, kung ito ay 4, multiply na, ano ba yung multiply natin sa 4 para maging equal siya sa 1? Parang ganun. So, here, so, 
As you can see, ang ginamit natin is 1 fourth. So, alam natin kapag minultiply natin ang 4 sa 1 fourth, no, ang magiging product niyan ay 1. So, because it's uh, in the equation, so what we did on the right side of the equation, dapat gawin din natin dito. Kaya itong 4 are raised to 4, times natin sa 1 fourth, dapat yung 64, ita times din natin sa 1 fourth. And then, kapag multiply natin siya sa 1 fourth, what will happen is, masisimplify na yung coefficient ng r na 4 ay magiging 1 na lang. Kasi, yun nga yung goal natin using the multiplicative property of equality na maging uh, 1 yung coefficient ng r. And then, what will happen dun sa 64, ita times natin siya sa 1 fourth or simply magiging ano to, 64 divided by 4 kaya ang naging quotient natin ay 16. So, ang ating equation now is 16 is equal to r raised to 4. Okay? So, ganun lang. So, parang ano, kung ano yung coefficient ng r, kukunin mo lang, uh, imumultiply mo lang siya sa pwedeng fraction or a number na kung saan magiging 1 yung product. For example, uh, kung meron tayong 5r, ayan. So, to make it uh, 1, yung coefficient ng r na 5, so, multiply natin siya sa 1 fifth. O, parang ganun. Or kung 1 fifth naman, Oh, to times natin siya sa 5. It's kasi ang magiging product niyan is 1. So, ganun. Uh, Mapapractice nyo din yan. Uh, so, you go with the different problems doon sa pagsisimplify ng mga coefficients of R. R. Okay? So, let's continue. So, next is use the exponential equation. So, bakit natin ito gagamitin? Kasi, ang goal natin is makuha lang yung value ng r. But in this equation, as you can see, uh, we have r raised to 4. So, nakarisya sa 4. Kailangan, ang exponent lang ng r is 1. So, paano natin gagawin yun? Gagamitin natin siya dito ng exponential equation wherein, uh, kukunin natin yung uh, root nung uh, both sides of the equation. So, dahil ito ay nakaraise sa 4, therefore, ang, gag ang root na gagamitin natin ay 4th root. So, we're going to get the 4th root of r raised to 4. So, sir, bakit? Kasi, kapag kinuha natin ang 4th root ng r raised to 4, that will be equivalent to r. Kasi, yun yung goal natin. Maging uh, r na lang yung r raised to 4. And then, syempre, equality yan. So, what we did dito sa right side, gagawin din natin dito sa left side of the equation. So, kukunin din natin ang 4th root ng 16. In that case, lalabas ngayon na yung value ng r natin is a positive and negative 2. Kasi pag ginawa natin yung 4th root ng 16, lalabas dyan na ang roots niya is a positive 2 and a negative Okay, so ganun. So, uh, as you can see here, uh, we have two values for r. Kasi kinuha natin yung roots niya. Okay? So, note, there are two common ratios. So, nakita natin kanina yon. We have positive and negative 2. Therefore, there are also two sets of a geometric sequence. And to find the terms in the and the geometric sequence multiply the first term by the common ratio so gagamitin muna natin yung positive 2 to get the second term and then repeat the process until you solve the three geometric means so as you can see sa ating ano problem balikan natin na we have three missing terms here okay so given the the sequence and the ratio so for the a sub 2 ang ating formula is a sub 1 times natin sa ating ratio na 2. Okay? So, para makuha natin si a sub 2, again, a sub 1 times natin sa 2, which is the ratio. So, our a sub 2 now is equal to 4. That is our first term. Ayun, 4. So, times natin sa ratio na 2. Therefore, our a sub 2 is 8. Or the second term in the geometric sequence is 8. Next, let's have the third term. So, for getting, uh, so for the third term, our formula, a sub 2 times 2. And again, the value of our a sub 2 is 8 
times lang natin sa 2. So, the product is 16. And then, for the last missing term, the fourth term, that is equivalent to a sub 3 times 2. And our a sub 3 now is 16 times 2. So, the product is 32. Okay? So, we, we can now say that the missing terms here, yung first set natin is 8, 16, and 32. Okay? Yun yung ating first set of geometric means. Kasi nga, uh, meron tayong dalawang value ng ratios, kaya meron tayong two sets of uh, geometric means. Okay? Let's have now uh, negative 2 as the value of R. So, for our second set of geometric means, so same formula, the a sub 2 is equal to a sub 1 times the ratio, by this time, ang ratio natin is negative 2. So, a sub 1 again, still 4 times negative 2. So, the second term now is negative 8. Okay? Next, a sub 3 is equal to a sub 2 times the ratio negative 2. So, negative 8 times negative 2 is positive 16. Alam natin yan sa uh, uh, rule of signs natin sa pagkuha ng product of the two integers. No Same sign, uh, the result is positive. Okay, and then for the fourth term, that is a sub 3 times the common ratio negative 2. So, we have 16 times negative 2. So, product is negative 32. So, this will be the second set of geometric sequence. We have negative 8, 16, and negative 32. So, the answer now, the three geometric means are 8, 16, 32. And we have negative 8, 16, negative 32. So, again, itong means na to, uh, using R equals 2. And then this one, this set of geometric means using negative 2 as our common ratio. So, pareha siyang tama. No? Uh, depende na lang yan kung anong gagamitin ninyo. So, usually, positive yan. But, uh, kukunin natin pareha. So, we have positive and negative as uh, ratio. So, we have two sets of geometric means. Okay? So, that's how we solve for the geometric means in the given geometric sequence. Okay, let's have a illustrative example number 2. Find the 7th term in the geometric sequence 7, 28, 112, so on and so forth. So, hinahanap natin dito kung ano yung pang 7. Now, if you're going to continue this sequence, ano yung pang 7 so, sa sequence na to. Okay? So, let's start. For our step 1, so game, ganun pa rin. So we need to find the common ratio kasi napakahalaga na alam natin at makuha natin yung tamang value ng, ratio, ng R or yung ating common ratio. So again, balikan lang natin. Again, it can be found by dividing any term by the term that precedes it. Sir, ano ba ibig sabihin na? Simply, parang ano lang yan, ito. So it's like yung third term, I-divide mo lang siya sa second term or uh, yung second term, divide mo siya sa first term. So, kailangan kasi makuha natin ay pare-parehas na na quotient kasi we're talking about the common ratio. So, here, if we're going to use this as our guide in getting the common ratio, uh, our third term in this sequence is 112. It's 112. And then the second term is 28. And then the first term is 7. Okay, so if you're going to divide this, so become 112 divided by 28, which is equal to 4. And then if you're going to check the other pair of numbers, let's have a sub 2 divided by a sub 1, that is equal to 28 over 7, still the quotient is 4. So we can now say that our ratio or the value of R for this problem is Four. Okay, so nakuha na natin yung ratio. Next, in finding the seventh term, so we're going to use the formula, kung like what I said kanina, uh, by, sa ating mathematical terms, na ang pagkuha ng n term at ang pagkuha ng geometric means, ay gagamit tayo ng parehas na formula. So yung gagamitin natin yung ating general formula, 
for the geometric sequence, which is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Okay? So, uh, as you all know, we just identified the value of r kanina, that is 4. And then, based sa ating given, ang ating n is 7. Bakit 7? Kasi, inahanap natin is yung pang 7 term. Anong number ba yung pang 7 term natin sa sequence? Kapag tinuloy natin itong sequence na to, na 7, 28, 112, ano yung pang 7 sa sequence na yan? And then, as, uh, as you can see here, uh, our first term is also 7. So, okay malilito doon, ha? Kasi ang ating first term ay 7 dito sa sequence natin. At ang inahanap natin is yung pang 7 term. Okay? So, klaro yun. Now, now, first is substitute the values. So, in our general formula, what will happen, uh, ito na yung equation natin using these values. Ayan, itong mga values na to. So, we have now a sub 7, okay, equals, ang first term natin is 7, ta times natin siya sa ratio na 4, and then raised to 7, yun yung value ng n, minus 1. So, yung minus 1 dito is ano, constant siya, okay? So, 7 minus 1. So, this will be our equation. Next is, we're going to simplify this. So, simulan natin sa exponents. May ruling natin sa PEMDAS, sa GEMDAS. Uh, we're done with the parentheses. So, dito tayo sa exponents natin. So, 7 minus 1, that is 6. So, we have now a sub 7 equals 7 times 4 raised to 6. And then, ito, baka mag, uh, mag, malito ha. Uh, uh, hindi mo na natin multiply yung 7 sa 4. So, what you're going to do, we need to simplify first ito exponential form. So, kailangan ma-simplify muna natin to bago natin siya ita times sa 7. Okay? Malino yun ha. So, here, we have 4 raised to 6. So, ano ibig sabihin yan? Simply, ano yan? Uh, 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. Ayan. So, you're going to multiply 4 by itself. Uh, 6 times yan. Kaya, ang magiging product natin dyan is 4,096. So, our equation now is a sub 7 is equal to 7 times 4,096. And our product now is 28,672. So, we can now say that the 7th term in this geometric sequence 7, 28, 112 is 28,672. Ayan. So, ang kagandahan nito ay we go to the specific number of uh, yung nth term. So, nag-jump na tayo. Hindi na natin kinuha yung 4th term, 5th term, at saka yung 6th term. Nag-jump tayo sa 7th term kasi yung yun lang naman yung ating goal. Yung objective natin is mahanap natin yung 7th term in the geometric sequence. So, yun yung kagandahan kapag gumagamit tayo ng formula. At again, bago natin tapusin ito, tandaan nyo mabuti na mahalaga na bago nyo kumpitin yung ating uh, equations natin bago nyo simplify, make sure na tama muna yung mga values na isasubstitute ninyo doon sa mga variable natin. Like yung n, yung a sub 1 or the first term, yung r which is the common ratio and the value of n. So, make sure na tama muna yun bago nyo isubstitute at uh, perform yung mga operations. Okay, so that's it. That's how we solve for the n term in the given geometric sequence. So, thanks for watching. Uh, sana may natutunan kayo. Don't forget to hit the like button and comment sa aking mga tutorial and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, muli, uh, ako ang inyong lingkod, Sir Jolan M. Sereño. Uh, stay healthy and safe. God bless us all.